We're going to Four Life Natural Foods in Kensington Park. We came here today to procure some ingredients that are allergy safe for me. Um, we're looking for a wheat flour that's high protein, but that is also not cross-contaminated with dairy, peanuts, nuts, soy, or legume flours, which have become really popular in the last few years. So I have a trusted brand that I always use where I check with the manufacturer and I come to health food stores to get it. Um, you'll also notice that there were a lot of bulk flours available. So even if that particular type of flour was safe for me, I just avoid them altogether. Better to be safe than sorry because you don't know what's been dipped into each of those buckets and it could be cross-contaminated with nuts or other bulk ingredients. So better to stay away from that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my chocolate sweet potato cupcakes. Now, one of the things about this recipe is it's what I like to call allergy flexible or a top eight free optional. And what that means is that if you can have wheat flour, like I can, you can use wheat flour in this recipe. So we're gonna use the one that we got at Kensington Market this morning. And if you cannot have wheat flour, you can very easily use a gluten-free one-to-one -one flour mix and the cupcakes will turn out exactly the same. The first thing we're going to do is peel and chop about one cup of sweet potato. It does not have to be perfect at all because it's going to be pulverized in the blender. And now we're going to throw it into the food processor. So we're going to start out by pulsing just to break up the large chunks and then just pulverize it. The next step is to soak our chia seeds. What we want is for them to turn into this kind of gloopy, like egg whitey looking uh, substance and they're actually an egg replacer. So it's gonna recreate the texture of the albumin or the white of the egg. So to do that, we will take one tablespoon of dark chia seeds. You can use any kind of chia seeds. There are white or black, doesn't really matter. To that, we're gonna add four tablespoons of water and then just gently mix it together. And then we have to wait for a few minutes. So we're gonna set this aside for now and we will come back to it in about five to 10 minutes. The next thing we're going to do is add pure vanilla extract, organic honey or maple syrup, and olive oil. The next thing we're going to add is half a cup of allergen-free chocolate chips. Now what you're looking for in the grocery store is a brand that is top eight free. So that means free from peanuts, nuts, dairy, eggs, soy, wheat, fish, and shellfish. There are a couple different brands available. Um, I'm gonna link to my 70 allergy-free brands you should know about post in the bio, um, but I'm using dark chocolate today. So whether you use dark or semi-sweet is totally up to you. The beautiful thing about this recipe is that everything is done in the food processor. So now we're just gonna blend it up again. It's gonna take about a minute of pulverizing, um, but you'll know that it's done when very few whole chocolate chips remain. So they should all be broken down and combined with the sweet potato mixture. Now we can add the chia seeds. The chia seeds should be really gloopy looking when they're done. And as I mentioned, you can use a gluten-free one-to-one flour mix, or you can use a wheat flour, whatever suits your personal allergies. Next, we're going to add the flour. Then we're going to measure out one teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then finally, we just add a pinch of salt. Great, the batter is done. So the next thing to do is line the muffin cups. So the pan is lined with parchment muffin cups. I just like to use these ones because the cupcake comes out a lot easier. It makes six large muffins. We can look at, ah, <laughs> proceed with caution. The batter gets really puffy. Um, very carefully take it off the stand and spoon it out evenly into six large muffin cups. The first one's a little bit tricky. So the batter should look kind of speckled. It shouldn't be totally uniform in color. 
but as the chocolate pieces melt during the cooking process, it all becomes like a nice dark chocolate color. The cupcakes are in the oven. This is the perfect time to make a pot of coffee. I'm melting some chocolate, the cheater's way. Usually you're supposed to have a pot of hot water and on top a metal bowl and then you slowly and gracefully melt the chocolate. But I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I just threw the chocolate into a pot and I'm stirring it consistently and hoping for the best and it melted. So um, I'm gonna smear this on top of the cupcakes. Smear is an ugly word. I'm going to spoon it on top of the cupcakes. And if you don't want the chocolate to harden, um, you can add a teaspoon of coconut oil before you start melting it and then whisk it together. And that'll just keep it really creamy and smooth. We're at the final step in the process. And that is putting the melted chocolate on top of the beautiful cupcakes. And you can see what I was talking about earlier, that the chocolate chips melt and they kind of coat the sweet potato, which also melts. And basically it just becomes like a super delicious thing. Um, the missing ingredient often with egg-free baking, I hear a lot of people say like, you know, it's too runny or too crumbly. With egg-free baking, the missing ingredient is often just time. You have to give things time to set and the texture will change. So right now these are a little bit moist looking, um, but if you leave them for like half an hour, 45 minutes, they're gonna come together a lot better. Time for chocolate. Always time for chocolate. Spoon a little bit onto each one. I just like to keep it in the center so that people can see what's underneath of it. Because allergy people like to see everything. We don't like any surprises. We don't like surprise food. We don't like surprise ingredients. <laughs> we just wanna know what we're eating. Can I eat it now? <laughs> I've selected you. Cheers. Mm. Let's see how it looks. That is spectacular. I'm attractive eating shop. I'm covered in chocolate. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to make these at home. You will not regret it. In fact, you will love it. Um, 